Well, I've just took this up the strand to give it a quick spin to see what it handles like. Um, and it's much better, I must say, with the chassis horizontal and also the steering linkage has worked out a brilliant idea. It handles really great. Well, I've cut the cut these uh, battery front of the battery things off about because it's easier to get the batteries. You don't want the batteries things right up there to get them out. Then after I've done that on one of these, I've chopped the chassis off. I've chopped the chassis off there, level with where the front of the battery bit is. Where I've chopped off the chassis at the back there, I've cut a piece six inches long of the same material as the chassis. Then I've got some smaller square box section and I've ground, ground it and sanded it so it slides in there about halfway. And then I've welded it on the bottom of the front part. Then after that, I've got the back end, I've put it on top of there, but because it wasn't because it wasn't quite the right height, I've put a piece of metal strip in between there before I've welded it because I wanted it inch and three eighths higher to match the wheels that I'm gonna put on it. Then I've made up one of these, which is 18 and 3 eighths roughly wide, the same as the chassis width. And then I've welded on a couple of pieces of this box section that is three inches this time, because sometimes you have a job getting the big batteries in there on the ones I've made, it's a bit tricky. So then, I've welded that on there, then made sure that this is running parallel with the chassis, and then I've clamped these bits on, I've welded them, I've chopped the piece of metal that was sticking up off of there, and I've put a piece of this inch by half box section in there to brace it in the middle. Also, I've drilled out, I've drilled up the swing and arm put um, these are 10 mil by 65 mil long stainless steel bolts to make the swinging arm better than the 8 mil bolts that are in there. They don't seem really man enough for the job. Because I'm fitting these trailer wheels on, um, I've had to have some bits um, lasered out. These were about a tenner each to have these lasered out. And I've obviously, I've drilled them out. They're drilled out so that the uh, hubs are going to go in them. That's going on the outside. Um, another one on the other side. Then obviously, I've got to put these bits in there. And I've got to pack them out to get the wheel to be at the right distance so it don't go. So I've got to probably use some spaces in between there to bring it out to the right distance. Also, lots of the, uh, these are stainless 14 mil things. I'm doing them flush in case I want to put some hubcaps on, uh, saucepan lids. And a lot of the time I replace these bits that hold these Cordova wheels split rims together anyway with stainless because I'm, I can't handle all this rust. Also, before I painted it, I've welded some of this bar on here in case I'm going to make a narrow body and have a running board. If, if I don't have the running board, it's no problem. I can spin it upside down and chop it off. The reason that I've lifted the back end on this one, it's because on my yellow dragster, because if you get the steering, as soon as you put the bigger wheels, your steering's doing this and not this. It's much better if it's parallel, so I can get the chassis horizontal. It'll handle much better. Where these holes are clashing slightly, I need to take a little notch out of there, there and there to clear the holes. 
Right, I've drilled out them plates and put them on both sides. And then I'm using, I'm using two 10mm spacers and a 5 in between to bring them out the, the right distance from the inside of the uh, scooter so it makes them the same distance as they were before. That's what it works out like that. The outside, the outside doesn't matter. Obviously, it's going to make the wheel stick out a bit further. I've got most of it back together now, except for the control box and batteries. I'm just going to put a seat on it and uh, varnish to give the floor a quick varnish. I've shortened the brake cable. Then I'm going to go and take it for a spin. Because the seat was too high, I've taken this frame off of here, took one and a half inches out of it and dropped it back down on there because the seat was too high. The only thing is I've had to put smaller batteries in it though because the big 75s and 80s won't fit in there.